This is the SEX1T and it's a tube mic or a valve mic or whatever you want to call it. But I want to hear what this thing sounds like when I'm recording my saxophone. But the thing is, they don't do this microphone anymore. So I managed to get one. It's got this box which powers the microphone. It has this special seven pin adapter microphone cable which goes directly from the microphone to the box. And then you run an XLR cable direct from the box straight into my camera here. And that's how you're getting to hear this microphone. Some of these boxes that you get to power the valve mics are quite big, but this one's very, very compact. It's around about the same size as my mobile phone. Of course, it's a bit thicker, but it's the same sort of length. So it's quite compact and easy to carry around. And that's another thing that I like about this. So I'm very curious to hear what this thing sounds like on my saxophone. So let's get stuck into it. Let's see you lot after the demo. <laughs> And you've just heard the X1T, the sadly discontinued tube mic by S Electronics. I don't know why, because it's a really nice microphone. Maybe it wasn't cost effective, maybe it wasn't selling. But in my view, this is a good microphone. It looks, of course, like the X1A, but it sounds nothing like it. In my opinion, this is far superior. There's nothing wrong with the X1A if you like that sort of brighter sound, which I kind of do as well but this thing has a fatter, sort of thicker tone. It's a bit more neutral, and that's a good thing. It also has a minus 10 dB, which I actually used for the recording, and a low pass filter, which I didn't use for the recording. And everything's nicely tucked away in this box that you get with it. So I think it's a really nice package overall. When I was testing this microphone out, I was getting what I call a throaty sound off it. And if you listen to Coltrane, as you can hear, he's got quite a throaty vibe on some of his recordings. Maybe they were using a valve mic or a tube mic of the day, I don't know. But that's the sort of vibe I was getting, and that's what led me to choosing that backing track. But maybe SE Electronics have replaced it with something else. I don't know the models, but maybe they have, or maybe they should bring it back. But that's my thoughts on the X1T. It's a very nice microphone, and I hope this video has been nice for you lot out there. 
And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. And if you want to subscribe, that's very nice. And I will see you lot in the next video.